peace and joy to you. Thank you for joining me here on the channel. We're studying the lessons of A Course in Miracles and today we're on lesson number 316, which is a continuation from yesterday's lesson. And it's another opportunity for Jesus to help us do a wire brush on our minds to clear out that negativity, to reprioritize ourselves, and to start our day focused on love. And I'm wearing my Army retired hat today because today is Veterans Day, and I actually just got a notification about the parade in Leavenworth, Kansas, that I get to participate in today. So I'll be spreading my big heart out to the community there and just having a fun day celebrating service with some other friends of mine. So. Thank you for your service if you served. Lesson number 316. All gifts I give my brothers are my own. As every gift my brothers give is mine, so every gift I give belongs to me. Each one allows a past mistake to go and leave no shadow on the holy mind my father loves. His grace is given me in every gift a brother has received throughout all time and past all time as well. My treasure house is full and angels watch its open doors that not one gift is lost and only more are added. Let me come to where my treasures are and enter in where I am truly welcome and at home among the gifts that God has given me. Father, I would accept your gifts today. I do not recognize them yet I trust that you who gave them will provide the means by which I can behold them, see their worth, and cherish only them as what I want. Amen. And so that last part of the prayer, we really desperately need to reread this last sentence here. Yet I trust that you who gave them will provide the means by which I can behold them. So that is the mind retraining program, taking the wire brush to the mind, the means by which I can behold them. We, we, can't, we don't know what the gifts are because our ego mind has hijacked our experience so much that we are focusing on what we don't have, the gifts we didn't receive, the things we wanted and didn't get. And then we're little brats about it. We're, we're just so funny in a way. It's like we're, we're having a three-year-old tantrum sometimes. We can't be grateful for what we do have. So we're asking God not only to give us the means to behold them, see their worth. We're giving value to things that are valueless, that will not matter. As soon as our spirit permanently leaves our body, a lot of the things that we thought were important just we, we realize, we have the awakening. We're not, we're not focused on the real things, which is love and peace and joy and happiness, not the material world. See their worth. We're gonna learn how to make love, joy, peace, and happiness more valuable in our lives through saying this prayer today. And then cherish only them as what I want. So is it possible to stop wanting all the other things and just want peace. Is it possible for you to do that? I think it's a challenge. I don't think anybody in the human realm can easily say yes to that, but it's something to focus on. It'll certainly take your mind off of all the things that are making you angry, sad, depressed. You feel um, like you've just ha had an unfair life. It wasn't fair, things aren't fair. Um, there's somebody out there that hurt you and you can't forgive them or won't forgive them. All those things are a choice. But God is telling us here, or our prayer to God is, Jesus is telling us here, that we want to learn how to behold the gifts we've been given, see their worth compared to other things, and then cherish only them as what we want. So I, I will say, you know, it's Veterans Day and um, I just, in the aftermath of, a, of an election here in the United States, there's a lot that I think people are focusing on right now that is not helpful. And um, I served in the military for 20 years and whenever there was a presidential election, we were essentially forbidden to speak about it 
across the meeting table. Like we had work to do. We had to be in union with each other as an entire military force that has one mission, which is the defense of the United States and securing wherever we were, taking care of our people. We only cared about our team. We didn't differentiate the teams like once everyone is together, it's one team. And when I look at America, thank God that I had 20 years in the army to train my mind to remove politics out of my focus area for at least part of my day. I'm so grateful that I'm able to see the country as one unified energy of freedom. And this, what this country represents to me is like continuous freedom for the rest of time. It's so amazing. And sure, there's things that can be improved, but you know, I think the government is gonna start to work itself out. And the more that people realize that the government is their employee and not their dictator or not their religion, then I think we're gonna be a lot better off. So share this video with your friends, start studying A Course in Miracles, learn how to prioritize love in your life, peace in your life, be grateful for the freedom in this country that we have and you know ask ask for guidance and prayer to help you reinforce the prioritization of what's right in god's eyes instead of what's right in your ego's eyes so i'm going to play some bowls for you again thanks for your service all my brothers and sisters out there i love you all dearly regardless of who you voted for we are on one team we always have been and always will be and and that's what i pray that everyone comes to realize very shortly <clears throat> gratitude over judgment and that we can all tap into the shared mind of God that we're a part of and remembering today's lesson all gifts I give my brothers are my own 
remembering that the love that you extend into the sonship comes back to you, envelops you, goes all the way through all of us. God feels it. God sends it right back to us. We are one. We are one. Nothing can separate us. No amount of elections or beliefs about rights being taken can change anything about the truth of who and what we are and that is divine light that is blessed by god fully and completely always and that's what we are much love to you thank you for being here with me today have a beautiful day again thank you veterans whatever service you're a part of obviously i'm biased with the army <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Enjoy yourselves. Love everyone. Forgive all the people that you're mad at and just celebrate with me today. Love you so much. See you tomorrow.